What's up, what's up, Grumpy Nation? Today I'm back with a mini pop haul. I got some cool stuff. Let's check it out. Grumpy Nerd, Geek Face Reviews. Grumpy Nerd, Please Will Honesty Too. Grumpy Nerd, Join the Grumpy Nation. Grumpy. Alright, guys, what's up? So, I'm basically trying to slow down on the Funko Pop insanity. Um, there's so much stuff coming out right now that I would like to have. But as you can see behind me, I have no more room. I have been getting rid of some of my pops and trying to kind of get it down to the stuff that I like. Not just everything. I mean, I had so many exclusives and just so much random shit that I didn't even like. So I'm trying to kind of weed those guys out so I can make new room for the new stuff that I like. So here's some stuff I picked up over the last week or so. Uh, and again, sticking to the stuff that I want to collect. All right, now as you can see behind me, I have a lot of Star Wars. They're kind of mixed up all over the place, but I love Star Wars and I have not been able to find any of the Walgreens exclusives until this one, which is Regis. Now, I love me some Regis. When I was a kid, uh, I had the action figure, Star Wars action figure of Regis, and it was one of my favorites. I loved it. This is a great looking pop, so let's check them out. All right, guys, now this is the Walgreens exclusive Regis. Look at that thing. He looks awesome. What a cool, cool sculpt. I love this. Now, I did see on the back of the box here, the other Walgreens exclusives, as you can see there, um, they're kind of mixed up, but their one is going to be the at, -AT driver, Kit Fisto, Plo Koon, and Reese. but I see this blue guy. Check him out. Blue Senate Guard. Now, I don't know whose exclusive that is, but I've never seen that, but it looks like a pretty sweet pop, so maybe I can get that one too, but... Uh, I still need the other three from this set, but I do love me some Reese, so if I don't get it, the other ones, I'm okay with it, because this dude's awesome, so that is Reese. Alright guys, next, the Out of Control series that just came out, the Suicide Squad pops from the new Suicide Squad movie, and they went overboard. Uh, I just, I don't get it, man. I mean, we don't need 17 Jokers and 200 Harley Quinns. I get it if you're a DC fan, if you're a Harley Quinn fan, I guess that's cool, but the movie looks alright to me, but they're already going to kill it with these freaking pops. Anyways, I went out and I found a bunch. They pretty much had all of the base characters, but I didn't want them all because I know that everybody's going to have all of them, so I went for the two that I thought looked the coolest. Uh, the first one is Killer Croc. Now, that is a cool looking pop. I really like it. Now, if you can see on the back here... That's just ridiculous. I mean, two dead shots, 17,000 Harley Quinns, 400 Jokers. It's just ridiculous. So, not really a fan of that. I will not be getting all of those. Um, I saw most of those out. Um, I'm sure the Enchantress is going to be in the DC Suicide Squad box. Cause that's the only one I didn't see out. Um, but, I mean, they're alright. I don't know. I just went for the two that I like. So, check this out. There is the Legion of Collectors card there so they are already trying to get you to buy that so that you can get the Enchantress which is probably the only pop that I really truly love in that series. Alright so here we have Killer Croc. Now not the most crazy of sculpts it's pretty basic he looks like a basic Funko Pop um, but I do like the detailing on his clothes and stuff he's got like this hoodie on uh, with the dragon and he's got his hands painted he's got these gold boots um, his face is really cool. It's got that real scaly feel to it, but again, not a crazy sculpt. It's pretty basic, as were most of those. I gotta be honest, most of those pops are looking like they're super basic. I almost picked up Katana as well, but I wanted only two, and these are the two I picked, so the second one is Diablo. Now, he looks awesome. I like him. He is, again, a basic looking pop, but Diablo, just the way that his tattoos look on his face looks pretty rad, so let's check him out. Alright, I do actually like this pop. He's got his name on his chin there. He's got the skeleton tattooed on his face. He's got some tattoos on his head. He's got them on his hands, as you can see that there. He's got a cool, like, biker gang jacket on. But yeah, he's got his chain wallet there. You can't, it's hard to see it, but this is cool, man. Now, I like this pop. Again, basic pop, um, but the difference is the face on it. It's, you know, it's painted like tattoos, so I like it. Um, again, not going to get all these pops by any means. If anything, I'm probably going to stop at maybe two or three. And these two are cool with me. I'm okay. I don't really like 
DC that much anyway, so it's all good. So I already do have the whole set of Teen Titans Go Pops, and there's some variants of Raven that were back in the day, like a white version, which is super expensive and crazy, but for the most part, I have the whole set. And then Toys R Us came out with two more exclusives of Raven, so I picked up, boom, the orange Toys R Us exclusive Raven. Now, nothing super special about this Raven Pop. It is the same Raven Pop as before, just a repaint so that's kind of cool now i will say that beast boy and raven are my two favorite characters on teen titans go and there is the orange raven again nothing crazy it is just a basic repaint but since i already have the whole set i wanted to pick her up as well and following suit we have the red raven now this one is cool because her eyes are painted red but other than that again basic repaint all right, and there is the Red Raven with her red eyes. I actually do like this one better than the orange one. It just looks creepy and cool, but there you go. Now, I love Teen Titans Go, and I did see that they are doing the Teen Titans Go pops that are dressing up as DC superheroes, which is pretty funny. It looks pretty awesome. If you haven't seen them, they're online. Check them out. Um, but that's it, guys. That is my basic Funko Pop haul for this week. Um, like I said, I will be clearing out some of these Funko Pops very soon and bringing in some more stuff so I can change up my background and I can make room for all the new pops that I want. Um, not really too attached to a lot of these pops. Now you guys have seen, I did a top five favorite Funko Pops. I will probably do a bottom five. I am gonna do a top five Star Wars Funko Pop review, so look for that. Guys, give me some suggestions down below for some other videos based on my Funko Pops that you'd like to see. If you wanna see me do top five Star Wars, which was actually asked a lot on the last video, but uh, be creative, guys. What do you guys want to see? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you have not. Grumpy Nation, you're the best. Peace. Grumpy Nerd, join the Grumpy Nation. Grumpy.